it's Sai Production and I'm here to do the tutorial for the DIY slider which I just made. But before we go on with the um, tutorial, I just wanted to mention a few of the things. I have received some of the comments on my video about that I have stolen the exact same idea from Twinslider.com. So I just want to mention this. I give them full credit for this rail system. This is the only part that I have completely taken from Twinslider.com and the color theme. and. It's a DIY project, so that means do it yourself. You see something, you like it, you make it yourself. This is my first slider which I made about a year ago. And I was using this with this platform. As you can see, the wheels will go inside and these are the plastic wheels. So when I was running it, it was not going as smooth as I wanted it to go. So what I did, I made this one and I made use the bearing wheels on it. As you can see, they both look exactly the same. And so the only thing I use on this one is like I change from the plastic wheels to the bearing wheels and this is what I did. Then um, I wanted to use it, I saw some of the um, um, pipes or the rods in Home Depot and then I came and I made this which was six months ago I made this, this is another rail system and then I was using this uh, this platform on top of this. While I was using this it was making a lot of noise uh, once in my video so I saw twinslider.com and then I saw the pipe actually I didn't see on twinslider I saw it one of the youtuber posted this link um, DOD32 I believe so so he posted a link and I saw uh, the video and then I saw the PVC pipe so I said okay I'm gonna try it and I like the color also so I used it please go on to the twinslider.com and look at their design and look at my design and this is completely different as you can see um, has it different? I have two rail guards on the side, on both sides, which is a T shape. I got it from Home Depot, T shape. And then also I have a brake system. This is uh, to protect your camera. While you move, if your camera is on the top of the slider and you're moving the slider and you just lock it and it doesn't move, it stays at one place. And if you're doing the shots, which is standing shots, and you're doing upside, uh, upside down or you're doing um, uh, a shot that you're taking from top to bottom and then you want to hold the camera in the middle somewhere so you just lock it there and stay there and then um, I have these two sets of wheels at the bottom which is uh, to protect your camera again if you have a camera with the heavy lines or bigger lines so the camera won't trip tip over so this way um, these hold uh, the whole uh, platform is sturdy and then uh, it doesn't go anywhere and then it's holding the camera itself and then if you're trying to do I use this also for the wire cam shots or overhead shots you could say so when you're uh, I put the uh, rail system on the top and then the people or whatever I'm trying to shoot it stays on the rail system and then it glides on it that's why I call it a smooth glide because it glides smoothly and uh, this is what happened, so I'm not going to bore you more I'm sure I'm going to get tons of bad comments again from the people who are not going to go with this. But anyway, you can stop the people and uh, let's carry on with the tutorial. Let's go. We'll go make our tutorial and then I'll see you afterward. Let me know how you like it.
soon. And I hope you have liked this tutorial. And if there's any question, please feel free to ask me. Or you could send me a message or you could leave a comment below and uh, I will be answering it as um, fast as I can. I hope you like the tutorial and I can't wait to see yours. If you have any suggestion or if you do change, let me know or suggest anything that I can use it. Feel free to leave comments and I'll be making more tutorials about other DIYs that I have. Thank you very much and enjoy.